All right. Welcome, everybody. Uh, we're excited. I'm excited to have uh, a good friend of mine, a gentleman I've met years ago, as I've been sharing with you guys over the last few Fridays, we've been talking about the healthy lifestyle while you live life on the right frequency. And uh, I'm excited about today's meeting because we are having our special guest. Uh, he is the founder, uh, president, CEO of Clean Machine Online. Clean Machine is just an amazing company that develops the most amazing products for health and fitness. And I say that because as most of you know my story, uh, I, uh, for, for quite a few years, lived on that narcissistic me frequency we talk about here and how uh, did a lot of different steroids and all of that. And over the years, I've come to realize that uh, there's a better way to live life, a healthier way to live life. When you get to my age, uh, Jeff and I are, are, are just a little bit higher than that 30 year age. And as you get a little older, uh, you realize that you really have to take care of your temple, you know, the body and uh, have to take good care of it. And so uh, I have learned my lesson. Uh, my wife and I, I'm going to go on record to say my wife and I don't just uh, walk the walk, but we I talk to talk, but we walk the walk. We take so, uh, one of his products, Cell Block 80. Uh, every month, every day, and it has made a big difference in our lives from a health standpoint. So uh, without further ado, I want to uh, introduce to you the founder of, uh, of Clean Machine, Mr. Jeff Palmer. Well, thank you for having me, Hank. It's great sure. to see you again. Yes, uh, sir. It's yes, uh, sir. Good amazing to have you. <laughs> when we were talking that uh, we met at uh, the Olympia. That was uh, That's right. many years ago. <laughs> Two, 2014. Uh, I'll tell everyone the story because I think it's worth them hearing the story. So <clears throat> I, um, I I came up with this crazy idea. I was going to create a, a a a channel, a Facebook channel. I didn't know anything about the technology of that sort, and I wanted to create something called Res Body, sort of like Resurrection Body, how to bring your body back to life. And it's funny because we're having this conversation, Jeff, and and that's actually how you know it came to be is these ideas. So I went around trekking at the expo. Uh, in 2014, and I come across this booth, and this one of your sales, I think, um, manager, sales VPs started talking to me. I was telling him some ideas, and you walked over, and we had this conversation of Jeff's product, and I just, I was, I was blown away. When, he said, "You got to watch the video," and so we'll put a link down below on the YouTube channel of the video. You should really watch about one of his products, which is Cell Block 80. He's going to talk about that. But I was so impressed with him that one, if you recall that one trip where I went to Tampa, living here up in Jacksonville, I said, uh, hey, Jeff, I'm coming down to Tampa. He said, let's meet. And, and true to his word, this guy is a, is a vegetarian. I'm not sure if a vegan, vegetarian. He ate a very healthy pizza while I was still eating garbage. But, <laughs> but over the years, I've learned some lessons and my life has gotten a little healthier and cleaner. So Jeff, why don't you tell them a little bit about your history, how you got around to making the products and, and your philosophy on health. And then we can talk some more about the products as you go along. Yeah. Um, it's been, it's been a long journey for me. Um, I, always been in fitness in in high school i was a swimmer and uh, junior olympic swimmer in, in high school and college and uh, i really got into fitness but i also realized as a swimmer you burn a, a whole lot of calories absolutely so i was doing about five thousand calories a day just wow. to maintain mm. um, because the training it's weight training and about two hours in the pool to a day so it's pretty rigorous but I realized the connection between food and, and nutrition and my performance level. Uh, we did a thing called tapering where you actually uh, taper down your carbs um, and then carb load right at the end. And your body just sucks up when it's depleted of carbs for a while mm -hmm. and then it just sucks it all up and your burst energy strength and everything just goes through the roof. It, it was amazing to see wow. what changing your diet can do for performance. Mm -hmm. That got me started. And, uh, you know, I, I cleaned up my diet. I said, well, if that works that well for my performance, yeah. why shouldn't I just be doing this all the time? Right. Right? Um, and, and especially as I got older, you know, in my 40s and 50s, and I started getting low T. And, and look, it's a common problem. Actually, testosterone declines over age. Uh, for our, almost everybody to the time we're about 40, we're less than half of the testosterone we started out in our 20s. Mm -hmm. um, 
And it can go even more so and quickly, depending on our diet, depending heavily on our stress levels. And most people are stressed out to the max. We're stressed oh, yeah. when we're driving. We're stressed when we're working out. We're stressed at, at work. Uh, we're stressed in relationships often. So you combine all that. And it's amazing that our testosterone even survives yeah. into our 50s right. at all. <laughs> Um, but I wanted to live quality of life, you know, it, and and for me, uh, I stayed fit. You can see some of the awards behind me there. I'm a natural bodybuilding champion, um, natural physique champion. Uh, but I wanted to I was playing with a lot of different cool plants that I was finding out there that had amazing benefits. And I wanted to share these with people. So, mm -hmm. you know, my wife said, hey you know, stop complaining about the marketplace, not having the plants that you, you know, <laughs> that you want to use. Just, just like a good wife. That was <laughs> just <laughs> yes. So, so I said, you're absolutely right. And I was passionate about, uh, way back in my early days, uh, I suffered with depression um, and attempted to take my own life a couple of times. Mm -hmm. It was so dark and heavy for me. And I got into drug use and, and heavy drug use and just trying to cope with the, the depression. As I broke free of that and completely got the drugs out of my life, cleaned up my diet, I said, oh my God, the difference in this experience of life is so amazing. Wow. I also wanted to make that a part of um, what I'm about in, in, in bringing some of these amazing plants. So it's, it's multiple things to me. It's mm -hmm. about health. It's about maintaining a clean body so that you can live, you know, the best life you possibly can. And then bringing some of these plants that I was discovering in the research and stuff that was not uh, not available to the mainstream, to the main public. And um, when I found the, the very first plant, which was incredible, it was this cactus flower. And it showed, it changed, it modulated our hormones better than any plant I'd ever seen before. Wow. And I'm like, okay, why is this not in the marketplace? Mm -hmm. <laughs> if right. it's got this incredible, uh, it published human, you know, clinical trials, I'm like, this is showing amazing results better than anything on the market by far. Why is this not in the marketplace? Right. Right. <laughs> so yeah, and my wife said, stop complaining about it and just <laughs> do it. <laughs> So she was the one who talked me into forming Clean Machine, and um, I'm glad I did. It's been what, a what year? What year? When did, when you started your research uh, to in, to find plants that you know that could be used to enhance our hormone levels? What year was that, and how long has it been a process? So it was actually about 2010. I was really um, I had worked my way through uh, the. Um, uh, supplement industry. I was uh, uh, the sports nutrition buyer for Vitamin Shop. So mm -hmm. over 50% oh, yeah. of all the products you see in Vitamin Shop, I was in mm -hmm. control over. Wow. Um, MRI, ProLab, BSN. I was working with the top companies at the top level, mm -hmm. director of product development, you know, um, the top distributor. I was a top buyer for 24 hour fitness. So I worked at the corporate level at the very top in the decision making places over sports nutrition uh, for some of the top companies, retailers and even distributors. Mm -hmm. And I really is like looking at some amazing plants, but they were like, yeah, but nobody knows that. So don't bring it to market. Let's stick with the cheap stuff. Sure. Right. <laughs> because yeah. it makes more money. Yeah. It's all yeah. about yeah. profit. It's all about money. Yeah. It, it's all about money. And, and, you know, it's like, OK, here's their goal. They make something really cheap. Mm -hmm. Then they make a big profit on it. Then they spend a big portion of that profit marketing, marketing, doing all the fluff, buying the, you know, the steroid using athlete and putting them on. The, that guy doesn't get that way for Thank you. supplement. Uh, guys, <laughs> wait, for everybody who just heard what he said, guys, you will not look like that uh, by taking vitamin shop or any other product, <laughs> the products out there. You don't get that way. That's right. That's, that's not how it, and, and look, no judgment. I use, we both have have uh, you know been there, so no judgment on anybody. If that's your choice, that's that's what you do. But I do try to encourage people because of the health benefits of taking a natural route. Absolutely, yeah. So tell tell us a little bit more about um, you know some of these products, but especially I guess uh, I don't know which of your products would you say is the is is your foundational product. But I got to tell you, the one that I've been taking now consistently. For six years, and what what better name could you come up with than Cell Block Eighty? To me, that's just 
That's when he told me that I said, okay, uh, this is either getting me in prison or get me out of prison, but either way, I'm going in, I'm going in, I'm going for it. So the, the name actually comes from this amazing study. I'm going to put it up on the screen here right. so you can see where the actual name comes from. So this is the cactus flower there on your right. And on the left is the actual uh, study. This is a um, published uh, human cell study that showed this cactus flower uh, prevented your testosterone from converting to estrogen. That's the first graph mm -hmm. on the uh, left by 80% also reducing your testosterone from converting to DHT mm. by over 80%. So that's where cell block 80 gets its name from. It's to, to you know, block uh, both estrogen and DHT while maintaining as much testosterone uh, for real, all the benefits that you look mm -hmm. for, you know, better mood, better quality of life, better sleep, uh, you know, better, uh, uh, obviously, sexual performance, mm -hmm. all of the benefits, muscle gains, strength gains that you're looking for mm -hmm. can be impacted if your body starts converting heavier amounts to um, uh, test uh, to estrogen or DHT. Right. So that's the problem. You got testosterone and then your body will start to convert some of it to estrogen and some of it to DHT. I can show you actually mm -hmm. the form here. So your body starts out producing DHEA and that through an enzymatic process converts to um, androstenedione, dione, the AD, the second uh, green uh, mm -hmm. spot there. Mm -hmm. And then it goes to testosterone. But as you can see the little B there, a lot of it gets bound as bound testosterone. And that doesn't isn't active. It isn't your free testosterone. So what that gets bound by is something called sex hormone binding globulin. It binds it up. Um, that SHBG there. So we use um, the strongest stinging nettle on the market. It's a 12 to 1 extract of stinging nettle that inhibits the binding of that. So that allows you more free testosterone. Mm -hmm. Now, free testosterone is the active testosterone that does all the things that most people are looking for. The strength mm -hmm. gains, the mm -hmm. uh, sexual performance gains, the, the better sleep, better mood. Uh, that Superman feeling. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so that's the free testosterone. Mm -hmm. But as soon as the body sees a lot of free testosterone, it has a tendency to want to convert to estrogen or DHT. And that's where most of the negative side effects come in. Yeah. Um, that conversion of estrogen, unfortunately, has a negative feedback. The higher the estrogen, the more fat you gain, the more fat, fat itself, fat cells themselves, produce more estrogen and you can get in a really bad loop yeah. of creating estrogen, creating more fat, creating more estrogen, which creates more fat. And oh, that's yeah. a really hard treadmill. Is, is that is that one of the reasons, uh, Jeff, why we see men in their late 40s, 50s and older? It, it seems as though their center of their body gets bigger and their limbs yes. get smaller. Yeah, exactly it. And, and part of that is what's called trunk fat. So, you know, uh, a lot of people think of fat as subcutaneous fat, the fat that hangs around our outside of our skin. The more dangerous fat is the fat that starts to accumulate around our organs, mm -hmm. our liver, mm -hmm. our heart, our kidneys. This is actually what can cause real serious health problems, heart right. attacks, strokes, yeah. things like that. Uh, and that's what causes that distended abdomen too, as the fat accumulates on the inside of our bodies. Yeah. Is, so it, is, it, is, it, is it in a sort of a mesh called the omentum? Is that uh, part of that? I know that I've, I've done some studies on the abdomen and they say there's a sheath that mm -hmm. covers that. It's the organ and it's the, called the omentum. And let me tell you, lately I've gotten a really big omentum. I need to get to... <laughs> I need, to get, I need to get to some of these products that my good friend Jeff has, because I think, you know, we you, you brought up a good point. My wife and I were going through some recent, um, you know, stressful times. And during these stressful times, Jeff, uh, it was a um, it's a tough time. You watch and, and listen, guys, there is no magic pill. There are great products that Jeff has created. And we're going to talk about some of them on this episode and the following episode. I do want to point something out. It never takes the place, as Jeff will tell you, about eating a healthy lifestyle of what you put in your body. 
Um, I true. can't speak enough about that. Uh, I'm sure he's going to talk about it in just a minute about some of the healthier living and some of the products he's made. I want to go back to one thing. He said estrogen and DHT. When I met Jeff and I was on anabolics, probably some serious anabolics, I was going through that phase in my life I've called the me frequency, all about Hank, um, <laughs> as, as some of us have gone through, right, Jeff, in our lives. And, um, and, and, and during that time, you know, he said to me, Hank, you know, this could be a great replacement. Uh, I don't need the replacement. I just want to take your stuff. It made a difference. But here's what I found out. I, to take, to take pharmaceutical testosterone, you typically will replace it. You'll, you'll have to add estrogen blockers. Well, not only do you have the dangers of the testosterone, you have the dangers of the estrogen blocker, which affects your AST um, and uh, AGOT kidney, uh, liver levers. Uh, so you've got the double impact of the testosterone that you're taking and the uh, the estrogen blockers like um, uh, anastrozole and some of these others. And you've got double damage or potential damage to a liver. You know, the great part is if you when you study cell block 80, you're taking something natural that God made. You've got plants out there and he gives you all the benefits with minimal or no side effects. So you probably should tell them about that a little bit. Yeah, so it was interesting um, research. Let me pull this slide back up again. Um, it, you can see the the DHT. So there are DHT blockers out there too, because DHT. Um, mm -hmm. So here's the, here's the uh, the challenge. So uh, uh, guys have this uh, situation where, as we age, once we get past our forties. Uh, as we age, especially into our 50s and 60s, but it's 40s, it really starts to become an issue. Uh, the number one complaint for men at a doctor's is low testosterone. Mm -hmm. And the number two complaint is prostate health. <laughs> mm -hmm. So oh. um, if you take something to increase testosterone, it can convert to DHT because you have higher levels of testosterone. The body starts converting it to DHT. That negatively impacts uh, prostate. Uh, so it's directly correlated to prostate health. Okay. So if you're not, you know, if you are increasing testosterone, you're going to increase DHT. Right. So you, guys are faced with this horrible situation where, okay, I'm going to have to live with low T. Or if I take something for low T, I'm going to run the risk of prostate cancer. There you go. All right. Yep. That is not a good option. Option, no <laughs> sex life option. or or death. You know, that's, <laughs> right. not, that's not a good option. No. <laughs> so I really, you know, I would have never touched the testosterone category because I'm all about health now. I'm, you know, 57 years of age. I, this is my glory years. I'm having fun. I've got a business, uh -huh. successful, happily married. You know, uh, this life this is, is good. <laughs> life, life is, is good, good, and I want to keep it going and enjoy the most out of it. That's right. I, I, I take zero medications. I am not on any drugs. I don't have my blood pressure is perfect. My heart rate's perfect. My body fat content's under 10%. It's, it's all in line. It's all where it should be. And, you know, it's, it's, I'd like to, you know, help people understand that there is a different path to take. Yes. You don't have to go on that path of low T and prostate, uh, you know, getting your prostate removed and your sex life going away. It doesn't have to be that way. Correct, we yeah. do have control over what we put in our mouth and yes. the, the plants that we help support. Remember, supplements are called supplements because they should be a supplement to a good base diet and healthy exercise. Well, um, well. And what I also love about this is not only so when they show, oh, taking a DHT blocker can increase estrogen, it's because, you know, remember when it can decrease to go to estrogen, think of it like a water hose. You want the water to come out the top part. But if you poke a couple of holes in it, you've got leaks going out to mm -hmm. estrogen and you got leaks going out to DHT. You're losing your testosterone. Mm -hmm. When you block up those leaks, more of that testosterone can do what it's supposed to do. And right. that's what this is doing. But if you block up just one hole, What's going to happen? It's going to come out faster on the other hole. Right. So if you block only DHT, you're going to get more estrogen. If you block only estrogen, you're going to get more DHT. Gotcha. So it's only when you approach both of it in a holistic approach, mm -hmm. when you are, you know, boosting your own natural body's production of DHA, blocking that excess, that excess uh, sex hormone bonding globin, mm -hmm. so you have optimal free T, blocking that estrogen, blocking that DHT 
And then finally blocking that cortisol because it interferes with your testosterone. So after all of this, you know, DHT, estrogen, sex hormone binding globulin, DHEA, after modulating all those, you can get the testosterone to the androgen receptor site of the muscle and it get inhibited by stress, by cortisol. Cortisol is a stress hormone. It tears down muscle tissue to get mm. energy out of it. Yep. And, and testosterone is anabolic. It builds muscle. You can't build muscle and tear it down at the same time. If your stress levels are high, that tear down button is going to win. You're right. So you got to bring that cortisol level down so that your testosterone has a fighting chance. And that's a more holistic approach rather mm -hmm. than just, hey, boost that testosterone and then have all these yeah. nasty side effects that you deal with. Gynecomastia, breast growth in men, mm -hmm. uh, estrogen, fat retention, water retention from yeah. the excess estrogen, DHT, hair loss. You know, my my brother was bald at my age. Wow. wow. <laughs> yeah, so crazy. I, I feel really fortunate to, yeah. to have hair even at my age. Um, my father, too. All right, guys, so, you better start taking that cell block 80. You're with some hair. Like, you it's know. all about DHT because DHT actually causes hair growth when we're in puberty. Mm -hmm. So the only time that you should not take a DHT blocker like cell block 80 is when you're going through puberty. So anybody over 18 is a great product for anybody under 18 should not take this product. Well, let's, let's talk for a minute about cell block 80. Now we have some individuals who follow our program. Uh, I have a playlist within YouTube channel called mostly for men. So this is, well, this is, uh, we're going to talk about the men. And then I want to ask about, about a question about the women. What age can a, man safely take cell block 80 and how long can he take it? Great question. So originally the understanding was, okay, if you're modulating hormones, you may need to take a break. Cycling, which is known in the, in the anabolic steroid uh, using community, uh, they know that the ideal way, although many of them don't follow that, is that if you take a, a round of steroids, you have to get off of it about eight, eight to 10 weeks right. to allow your body to rebring back its own natural hormone levels. Up. Otherwise, the, when you bring an outside source of testosterone into the body, the body says, oh, I don't need to make don't my own make it. Mm -hmm. and shuts down your own production. That's now, uh, it can bounce back, uh, you know, um, if you do it in cycles. Uh, but if you do it for long term, you can permanently shut down testosterone mm -hmm. production mm -hmm. altogether. I know guys who have to stay on testosterone now for the rest of their life mm -hmm. because they permanently shut down. Same with thyroid. If you take thyroid medication, um, you can permanently shut down. They tell you that, right? If you're going on Armorol or one of the thyroid uh, medications, you, you're going to end up taking it for the rest of your right. life because you're going to permanently shut down your own production. Yeah. Um, so what I wanted to do was not interfere with our own production, but support our body's own production, which is just the opposite, mm -hmm. which makes it great because you can take it continuously. So the other thing I looked at was some herbs have a declining effect the longer that you use them. So it's better to go off them for a little while and go on them. Fortunately, this actually has an inclining and then a plateauing effect. So the longer you take it, actually more it works better for you. And the more the body adjusts to it and more runs at an optimal level. The next thing we saw is that um, people who were on it for several, you know, uh, bottles of it, when they did like, oh, I was traveling or couldn't go on it, I, but I still felt great. That's great because your body has got itself back into optimal state. Mm -hmm. And it wants to stay there. Now, stress and lack of sleep and poor diet and other things can knock it right back down again. Sure. But it's it's really wanting to get your body into optimal states mm -hmm. where all of the hormones, all five, six hormones are in balance and working optimally. That's what you want the best. So it's not about boosting testosterone only. It's about making that testosterone you do have more efficient, which also makes it even good for women so that women can get the strength gains, the better body composition, lower body fat, um, and, and, and safe because it doesn't interfere with their own natural body's estrogen production, which is through the um, uh, ovaries. That's the natural way women sure. produce estrogen. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't interfere with that. What it does is stop them from their own testosterone. Women create testosterone just like we do for strength and, mm -hmm. and mood and, and libido, all of those things. And their testosterone has a tendency to want to all turn to estrogen because they're uh, estrogen dominant. 
So gotcha. just by inhibiting that, they can reduce that, reduce that fat, uh, estrogen fat uh, building cycle, lower their body weight, get more strength and muscle. So get all the benefits they're looking for without interfering in their own body's natural processes. Wow. Now, now you, you brought up, that's a great point. Um, you obviously have successfully taken this yourself and competed, you mentioned. Uh, yes. You also have a group of uh, competitive athletes who are your ambassadors. Tell yes. us a little bit about the ambassador program. Yeah, so like uh, Corinne Sutton, uh, three-time natural bodybuilding um, pro. Um, so three different federations, wow, pro cards and great. all of them. Uh, phenomenal physique, incredible. Joe Coleman, uh, he is a three-time physique pro. I mean, these are guys, some of their top fields. Uh, John Joseph, 10-time, uh, uh, he's 50, he's one year he's one year ahead of me, so he's 58. Wow. He's done 10 <laughs> or 11 Ironman triathlons. What? Yes. Oh my God. Love cell so all of these people um, um, are big advocates of uh, cell blockading. Big time. All of yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. That's yeah. A it's amazing. And look, these are the, the plants out there that are doing spectacular things. This cactus actually is the best of any plant in the world at controlling its hormones. Wow. So sometimes that translates to humans. Sometimes it doesn't. Fortunately, this one does. It does. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Now, now that's just one of your many products. Um, in fact, I'm taking a second one of your product right now, the BCAAs, but I don't want you to just hit on one. Give us sort of a rundown of, of some of the other products. Um, let's, let's, uh, let's, let's take a, let's take a run through of some of the other valuable, uh, you know, supplements you've created to help athletes and, and, and just people who go to the gym and want to be fit and healthy. Right. And, well, what I decided, I said, okay, well, I want the best. I, I don't, for me, for me personally, I want the best that nature has to offer. Mm -hmm. um, uh, because I want to see what life has to offer when you put the absolute best in you. So it's not for everybody. If you're looking for just something cheap that tastes good, there's plenty of other products mm -hmm, out there. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, this is for those who just want to experience life to their absolute fullest by putting the best stuff in their bodies at all. So, you know, people had asked me, why aren't you, why don't you have a, uh, I, I've been a vegetarian, like you said, vegan for actually 35 years. Mm -hmm. So um, really wanted to show people that, look, you can do this as a plant-based, you can compete at a high level in natural bodybuilding. Um, so when I was looking for a uh, plant protein, most of the pea and rice proteins out there, they're decent, you know, there's, uh, that's good. Um, but I wanted something that was extraordinary and I found it and I waited four years to find it wow. before I even, I wasn't even going to launch a plant, plant protein until I found something extraordinary. This plant is higher in protein than any plant in the world, including soy. It is higher than pea, rice, hemp, all of them, higher in essential amino acids, higher in branch chain amino acids, the only one comparable to whey in its uh, amino acid score. Is phenomenal digestibility higher than all the rest of them so you're getting more of the protein out mm -hmm, of it right but it's also higher in micronutrients than any plant in the world so it's the number one superfood and the number one plant protein all in one plant wow. i was the first to bring it to market and as you can see right uh, here yep. that is the next award uh, that is the top supplements like the oscars for supplements out of all supplements in the united states in 2018 we won the best song. I did not know that. That's incredible. <laughs> All right. I got to ask you, because people are going to want to buy this. <laughs> I'm excited. I haven't tasted it yet, and so I'm going to get me some. Tell me of the flavors. How did you create it, and how does it taste? Because, you know, people are like, listen, they, they don't mind choking something down if it helps them, but they prefer to have something taste pretty decent. So, oh, okay. oh, for sure. And and that was a challenge. We spent almost five months doing the flavor system to get this right. Yeah. The, the big challenge was all this nutrition that was so amazing. You know, it, it's actually the first plant to be found to uh, be commercially available that has bioavailable B12 in it. That was something they really? didn't even think was available in the plant I didn't kingdom. Know. Yeah. I didn't know and, that. Um, you know, uh, higher in lutein, higher in all these micronutrients than than anything. So omega uh, threes, thirty five percent of your fiber, almost fifty percent of your omega threes wow. in a single scoop. I mean, wow. this is all naturally occurring in the whole plant. That's amazing. So we can use the whole plant 
So it's green, hence the name clean green protein. Clean green. Um, yeah, so think of it this way. If you get uh, most of the proteins out there, whey or plant proteins, they're all isolated. So they just take out the protein and mm -hmm. take away all the good stuff, all the micronutrients, fiber, all, all the omega-3s and toss them. <laughs> so all you're getting is the protein, but that's not what our muscle needs. Our right. body right. needs micronutrients, macronutrients, fiber, omega-3s. It needs it all in order to perform. This, we use the whole plant, everything intact. So think of it as most of the proteins out there are isolated proteins, which is like Wonder Bread, yep. right? Yep. And then you've got whole wheat bread, which uses mm -hmm. the whole grain. We know how much better that is for mm -hmm. our health. Right. Yep. So think of most of the proteins out there as isolated. This is whole food using got the it. whole plant. Got it. Much big, bigger difference. So, yes, this is a vanilla chai flavor. We've got we're working on a chocolate uh, peanut butter flavor right now. Mm -hmm. So hopefully okay. that'll come out soon. That's exciting. All right, I got to get me some, man. I'm I'm already foaming at the mouth. Gonna... <laughs> you know, I, I I have to share, and I'm inspired by Jeff right now, guys, because if you're watching our program, you understand that this guy is he's not just talking some talk and making big money with marketing and flying around in jets. This guy lives his products. He takes them. He uh, And he's encouraged me over the last six years when I've talked to him, Hank, keep going healthier, healthier. Well, good news is I haven't had any major medical issues. I'm, I'm very blessed and thank God for that. But I got to tell you, he's getting me excited here. I'm going to start, uh, my wife and I, um, Jeff, a little side story, we've been talking about minimizing, minimizing uh, protein usage. And while we aren't vegans, I think we're going to get down to where I, I say, you know, a little, little bit amount, you know, they, they call it more of, um, what uh, more of a con, you know, like a condiment make just, right. if you're going to eat meat, you really don't need a lot. And right. I will tell you, gentlemen, if you're 45 and over, I would assume maybe even 40, um, we would encourage you, Jeff and I would both encourage you to probably try to reduce your meat. I know there were times when I ate a lot of protein thinking I was going to build all this muscle. And really, all it did is made me sluggish and miserable. Uh, and at 50 and over, you really can't afford to do that. Uh, and guys, for those of you who are taking a lot of anabolic steroids, if you are and you're watching this program, I'm not going to tell you what to do. We're not your judge. But I would encourage you that uh, to remember one thing. As you take those things and you're older, it takes twice or three times as much. But the toxicity of the organs is mm -hmm. exponentially harder on your body. So you get you get half or a third of the value, but three to four times as much of the toxicity. So I would strongly encourage you the way I've been heading in that direction to follow me in the pathway. Listen to Jeff, what he's saying, because uh, taking these natural products is really the way to go. He would he and I would both admit you're 22. You can almost eat dirt and grow. I mean, let's face it. Right, Jeff. But <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you can eat. You can go to a convenience store like um uh, my friend Kevin Lavroni used to do back in the day. He'd say he'd eat six hot dogs and he would grow. Well, you can eat anything when you're 21. When you're 55, when you're in our club, in the 55 club and older, it's uh, you got to be careful. So um, you got the you got the protein. I love it. Got the cell block 80. Tell us about the BCAAs, and you know we'll uh, wrap up with a few more of your products. What else do you have? Yeah, so um, BCAs are are what they are. We were one of the first to to be a true vegan uh, and soy free. We used uh, sunflower lecithin, so we we're first mm -hmm. to do that. Our flavor systems on our lemonade and fruit punch were in the top. Tastes range. great. I've been taking it. I love it. Yeah, yeah. Good. yeah. So I think pretty much people understand BCAs and they're mm -hmm. important too. But um, the other uh, major product I want to talk to you about is uh, ahi flour. It's an omega three. So. Again, once again, I was the first to bring this plant to, to the marketplace. Uh, no one else in the world had it. Uh, extraordinary plant, uh, clinically proven, published human study, 400% more effective than flax, the number one uh, most effective uh, plant-based. And actually the first plant to be shown to be as effective as fish or uh, marine oils. So as far wow. as omega-3s. New research is showing that actually plant-based omega-3s are better. Now, we don't have time for me to go into it because it's a very <laughs> extensive. <laughs> We're going to have you back on another program once I get a lot more <laughs> followers. But for now, yeah, let's, uh, let's but, definitely. Uh, definitely the research, yeah, the research so impressed people once I launched it, we actually won the next year award a second wow. time for wow. the best supplement of the year in uh in 2016 so crazy 
Yeah. It's incredible. You've won many awards. Uh, can you turn a little bit and show, if you zoom in, yeah. do your zoom on the, um, do your other camera. Um, I know you're controlling it right now. Yeah. Go to the big picture. Yeah, go to the other one. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Okay, there you go. You can see him there. Yeah, If you yeah. there you go. If you move your head just a little bit, take a look at all these awards he's won. Yeah. There you go. You can see him right there. Beautiful. That's incredible. Many products. Do, do, one of the guys' the questions uh, someone will ask is, um, Jeff, do you have a particular product for the pump? Everybody wants the pump. Anything like that coming out? Are you planning on coming up with some ideas? What do you think? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we I are, swear, uh, God, this is not even scripted, guys. I just, I'm <laughs> asking him questions as we go along. <laughs> So yes, I am really excited. We have, again, we're gonna be first in the marketplace with this. We've got a, uh, the very first plant sourced vitamin D3, a true colocosiferol that is gonna be a vitamin D3, but we are working on a pre-workout right now. We're in the flavor system profile. So mm -hmm. hopefully by the end of this year, amazing. Uh, <laughs> the pump, the, the energy, an amazing. I, won't, I can't talk about exactly what it is, but uh, we've got something that gives you a, a nootropic effects, stimulates your brain so much without using as much caffeine. So you feel like you're on a two, 300 milligram dose of caffeine without all that uh, stimulation. Jittery. Yeah, the jittery jittery. yeah. Mm -hmm. exactly. Oh, and wow. it lasts five to six hours. So <laughs> that's incredible. Wow. Yes without the stimulation. So one, people who are caffeine um, uh, dose sensitive mm -hmm. are, can use it, women can use it and mm -hmm. still get all that energy, all that mental focus, that intensity in the gym without all that excess caffeine that spikes your cortisol, which would, you know, increases fat levels. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and caffeine is a vasoconstrictor. So, you know, I find it so funny that people take nitric oxide products in a product open. that has a bunch mm -hmm. of caffeine, <laughs> you know, yep. to open up your blood vessels and then the caffeine. Only to push them closed. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> What's I, I can't wait. You got to. I'm going to be this man's guinea pig, so you guys will be checking back, and I'll be telling you how great these products are. I got to get me some because you know when you get 50, a little bit older, uh, you you just you don't get that pump like you did, and and I and I miss it. And if this, if anybody can create it, this man is the scientist that you want to point to for that. Hey, as we wrap up, we got about three or four minutes. Where can everyone go to read more about your products? Is it, is there a YouTube channel? Do you have a website? What, where do you want to point them to? Yeah, so you can go to cleanmachineonline.com. Uh, we're also um, on uh, we'll Facebook. Put that, by the way, we're going to on YouTube channel. We're going to put that down below in our little list. You guys be able to click it. And you'll also be able to click... Um, and, and not to cut you off, but all the products that he is offering, we're going to have a link so you can go to Clean Machine. I believe that'll point them there and they yeah. will be able to purchase all these and get great rates on that. But uh, what else did you want to share? Yeah. And you can follow us on social at Clean Machine Fit, both on Instagram and um, and uh, Facebook. Right. And then uh, uh, also you can check out our YouTube channel at Clean Machine Online at YouTube. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. This guy's a social media guru. Hey, don't say us old guys don't know what we're doing here. Look at this. <laughs> and, and, and you know what? You can be young. You can feel young. You can feel fit. Guys, I'm, I'm going to leave you with this. Um, Jeff, I can't thank you enough for taking the time out. We're going to have him back on our channel. Jeff, thank you, by the way. You know that we're just starting. We don't have a lot of followers. I believe this is going to be the beginning of it. So you were humble enough and kind enough to to um, allow me to introduce, um, you know, obviously interview you. And I do appreciate that. Uh, guys, share this with your friends. Tell them on social media. There is a better way to live. And, and by the way, it's not just living, um, you know, uh, spiritually or mentally, but it is living physically. Uh, I know uh, Jeff and I both believe in that spirit, soul and body. And, yeah. you know, we're a three part human and it's not just uh, not just the body, not just the spirit. It's a three part man. So we want you to live healthy as well. Not just, you know, my wife and I talk about marriage and healthy living and living life on the right frequency. Well, living life on the right frequency has to do with taking care of the body that God gave you. And uh, I know Jeff has made some of the most amazing products out there. So make sure you guys check out cleanmachineonline.com, uh, start looking at this stuff. And down below, I'm gonna have the links on how you can get some of these products on our special rating and also find out more about Jeff. Jeff, I can't thank you enough. Appreciate you 
being out here. And uh, guys, we'll look forward to it. Look for Jeff. He'll be coming back, I'm sure, in the coming months. And we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. I guess you will stop it. I can.